CETA, the Canadian Economic and Trade Agreement. The name itself is enough to send you spiraling downward in a whirlpool of excruciating boredom, then into an abyss of endless sleep. So it's no surprise if you instantly nod off every time you hear the word. But there's another reason CETA won't mean much to you. Even though CETA is going to affect you in every which way, from the quality of your drinking water, to the quality of public services, right down to the quality of the air you breathe. This is an agreement that's been negotiated in secret by Stephen Harper. That's right, without consulting you, the one who's going to be directly affected. Ah, didn't know, did ya, that this CETA thing was real and might come back to bite you in the ass. So let's get on with it then, CETA. First, why the secrecy? Well, if Canadians fully understood how much this thing is going to bite us, there'd be public outrage and fury. So why is Harper pushing for it? Because big multinational corporations want it. I know, we're mad too, but wait, there's more. Take water, essential to all life. They're searching for it now all over the universe. Water is basically the next oil, and it'll be no big surprise if our world wars start up around this hot topic. But step in CETA, allowing international corporations to get hold of our water systems while they still can, and, you know, charge the municipality for managing the system. Let's jump to Hamilton, where, in 1994, Phillips Utilities Management Corporation was awarded a private contract in a water system that was, beforehand, public. The result? The workforce was halved to keep costs down, there was a raw sewage spill in the harbour, and hundreds of homes and businesses were flooded. The contract was promptly put back in the hands of the public, because public provides better service and private just wants to make a profit. So, what was that we were saying about our public services? Well, you know that stuff like postal service, health care, education, electrical utilities? These are publicly owned, meaning they don't operate solely with the bottom dollar in mind. They operate for the public good. Corporations are in business to make profits, not provide good service. Ever get tired of that, your call is important to us? Thing is, if CETA goes through, public services will be up for grabs because corporations will see these as a way of making money. How will they make money? Same way they tried to make extra profits in Hamilton. Lay off workers and the hell with the quality of service. And that thing called the environment. What's up with that? Well, foreign companies have a bigger say in what kinds of laws we can or can't impose to protect the environment. And when a corporation wants to suck us dry of every last natural resource in order to score billions of dollars, what do you think's going to be more important to them? Extra profits or a brand new butterfly sanctuary? Bling bling or clean drinking water? Profitable tar sands or a public park for the kids? Oh yeah. That job of yours? Cough it up. Since we don't actually make things anymore, like pharmaceutical products or cars or stoves, we don't have those jobs anymore either. Already we've lost 550,000 manufacturing jobs through free trade, and CETA is going to make sure we lose more. Why? Harper wants us to export energy raw materials like metals, and other raw products like diamonds and gold. He doesn't want to manufacture real products right here in Canada that would actually create real jobs. There are plenty more, but we'll end here. Our democratic rights. And you may have to play this one a couple of times for it to actually sink in. Not only will CETA open up our services to international corporations, but it will give them the right to sue us if we should infringe upon their CETA-given rights. So say we bring in better environmental laws, laws that would help clean up air but hamper corporations from raping our lands, say. Under the rules of CETA, these corporations actually have the right to sue us. Make any sense to you? Of course not! But Harper's coming at us full steam ahead, so we have to stop him. Not next year, but right now.